All righty, let's get started. It's cold in here, you can see my nips. Hi everyone, my name is James and welcome to Blue North Woodworking. And when I say hi everyone, I mean hi to the like four people that are gonna see this video, which is probably my mom, maybe Uncle Jim, and the other two viewers are gonna be me. So I'm just gonna get right into it. I am starting this YouTube channel for three reasons. Um, most importantly, I want to document the story and the journey of Blue North Woodworking. I think this is something that'll be very cool to look back on five, 10, 20 years from now, just to, to see where I was at and what I did with this point in my life and to see where Blue North was and how it started. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about um, the small and brief history of Blue North and where I want that to go. Number two, I'll be very transparent. I am on YouTube for business. I want to make money doing this. This is not something I'm going to be taking lightly. I plan to replace my full-time income with YouTube and woodworking. And I will elaborate on that as well. And number three is I want to use this platform and this situation to try to inspire other people to do the same for themselves because I think that the YouTube opportunity and the digital creator economy is something that's just getting started. I feel like we're in the first inning of the ball game and this is something that a lot of people can and hopefully do decide to do. So to talk a little bit about Blue North Woodworking, Right now, I have a small little side hustle where I make serving boards, cutting boards. Um, I've done an epoxy table and I've done a bit of farmhouse furniture. In 2017, my wife asked me to make her a farmhouse coffee table and I had never made anything in my life before. My dad was a carpenter and he gave me a miter saw uh, that I could have and I was a big help to kind of get that start. He gave me a, a drill and a driver and I went and bought a, a Craig jig and watched a, a YouTube video from DIY Pete. And with that video, I put together a coffee table and it was the first time I made something and I loved it. And uh, made a couple more coffee tables for friends. And I was like, man, I kind of want to start a little business doing this because I've always had this entrepreneurial spirit but uh, I never really followed through with it. And then a couple years later, I had some friends really encourage me that uh, I should decide to pursue this and, and move forward with it, but kind of hummed and hawed for like a year or two about it. And then one day I was taking a poop at work and, and made an Instagram page for a couple of my coffee table builds. And, um, and that's kind of how this started. And then in October, 2020, I decided like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take this seriously. And I started posting, uh, I started making cutting boards and serving boards. I think I saw a video from John Malecki and saw him make a batch of cutting boards for Christmas. And I was like, yeah, I could do that. That looks pretty nice. That looks fun to do. So I just went at it. I bought uh, a planer, I got a jointer and I just started making cutting boards and now I'm here. I want to eventually be a furniture maker. I don't want to be James the cutting board guy. I want to be James the beautiful furniture maker. The problem is that I don't have the skill set at this current time. So, and I don't really have, I, I'm, I got this dinky little DeWalt table saw that can't even cut eight quarter hardwood. So I'm basically trying to sell enough small items so that I can upgrade my tools where I can you know, make the, the fine furniture that I aspire to make. So right now I'm just doing what I can with what I've got. And if that means I have to sell another 100 serving boards or 200 cutting boards, like God damn it, it's gonna be annoying, but I'm gonna do it. Uh, so that's kind of where Blue North is and where I want it to go in the future. Uh, point number two is I am doing this for business. Um, if you can see that, you can see my breath. Um, I'm in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Today, let's see, what is the temperature right now? It is minus eight, feels like minus 14. It's cold in here, it's cold but I wanna shoot a good video and uh, yeah. So I am here to make money and I saw, I've done a lot of research on the YouTube space and here's the thing, I love woodworking and I wanna be a full-time woodworker but the thing is, 
is that I have learned that scaling woodworking is extremely difficult. I don't have the skills. I don't have the capital. And I don't think that I can, I'm in my like dinky little garage that we just moved to this new house that we bought so that I could do this because before this I was in a basement and I'll throw a picture on screen now of where I was starting in my basement. Uh, down there is where you can see that I have tarps up and down there is where we did our laundry and where we did laundry and me woodworking just wasn't a good combination. And my wife sleeps in a little bit. And if I want to do my woodworking and I'm sanding or running the planer or the joint or table saw, that's no good. So I needed to move to a house with a garage. Anyways, scaling woodworking is difficult. And I, so I did a lot of research into the YouTube space because as I started my Blue North journey, I began just posting my stuff on Instagram to show off my stuff, show off my products. And in that process, I realized that I really enjoyed creating content. I like taking pictures of my stuff. I like taking videos of my stuff and, and making reels and syncing it up to music. I just really enjoyed that side of it. And then I realized I started watching these, these woodworking YouTubers and I saw this video from Travis on shop nation where he's like, I made this much money uh, on my YouTube channel. And he's like, I'm not trying to brag, but this is just what I did. And I was like, that's legit. Maybe I could try that. So, uh, I just continued to post on Instagram and, and TikTok. And on the micro level, I realized that, uh, people enjoy watching woodworking. And I also found that as I would go on my Instagram story and just rant about random things as I was woodworking, people enjoyed watching me. And I like to tell stories. I don't necessarily feel the most comfortable in front of the camera, but, uh, I think I'll get better at it. And I, I don't, I don't mind it to be honest with you. I like entertaining. I like being a storyteller. I like to make people laugh. So I figure let's take a shot at YouTube. And the thing is, is that if you think of woodworking as hardware and you think of YouTube as software, um, from learning about business a little bit is that scaling hardware is hard and scaling software is a lot easier. Here is a serving board that I make, I can only make so many of those. I can only go so fast and I do not want to have other people working in this business. I want it to just be me. This is a one person business model. I don't want to have employees. I don't want to scale the business that way. I just want it to be me. Uh, maybe with my wife helping me on the website and that kind of stuff, because I'm not good at it. When it comes to software, when it comes to YouTube, I can always get more views or at least I hope. Um, I don't expect this video to go anywhere. I think, you know, I, I'm not going to get too many views because this isn't necessarily a woodworking video. This is me more talking about the origin story of Blue North and where I want it to go. But I can scale YouTube a lot easier because this is not costing you anything to watch me. And if you look around in the world, you see that we're always, we're all doing this all the time. We're at work, we're at the mall, whatever, and we are on our phones consuming content. And I figured why not create content for you to consume? It doesn't cost the viewer anything, but just having more eyes on my channel will help me grow and hopefully make me money. That's what I'm going to try to do. I know that YouTube is a long, painful road and I'm willing to do it. I know that things take time and that it's a marathon and not a sprint. Uh, my goal for this channel is to eventually one day get a hundred thousand subscribers. I think that if I can do that, I'll be able to like, I'm going to pay my bills doing something I love. And that's honestly what I want to do. So I am here to make money. Um, the reason I'm doing YouTube is because I want to continue woodworking. I'm not going to make enough money being a woodworker by myself. So if I can scale YouTube as supplemental income to my woodworking that will allow me to do something that I love and I can hopefully do that for the rest of my life. That's my plan. And point number three, why I'm doing this channel. Um, I'll throw a graphic up on the screen right now from Justin Welsh, who says five types of content that build your following. One, this person teaches me Two, this person motivates me. Three, this person entertains me. Four, this person makes me think. And five, this person understands me. Well, this channel is going to be for beginner woodworkers as I'm a bit of a beginner woodworker myself. If you're a, you know, intermediate or advanced woodworker and you stumble across my channel, 
you're not gonna learn much from me. If you come across this video and you find my channel and you don't know which one the table saw is, yeah, I can help you. Um, so I want to be able to educate some people, but for the most part, I'd like to make people laugh. I'd like people just to watch my build videos and, and enjoy watching something for 15 minutes to see how some shitty wood goes into like a beautiful table. That's cool. That's what I want to do. But I also want to do videos that are made for people that want to build out their workshops. For example, my next video, my first real video will be me building a four by eight workbench that's actually going to sit right here in my garage. Uh, and I'm going to teach people how to do that with free plans available and, you know, just build out my workshop and document the journey of where this started and where it's going. Uh, excuse me. Point two, this person motivates me. I guess I do want to inspire other people to see that the YouTube opportunity is something available for a lot of people. I think that if you can find a way to take whatever skill set you have or whatever knowledge you have, and you can offer value to other people that you can get on YouTube and you can monetize that. It's not, it's not easy. It would take a lot of video and a lot of consistent hard work, but if you want to rep replace your nine to five because you're sick of the situation that you're in, I strongly encourage you to look up how to make money on YouTube, start Googling it, start watching YouTube videos on it because the possibility is there. I am sick of my nine to five, but I don't have any skill set to uh, get myself out of it right now. So that's why I'm going to try doing this. I'm going to try to learn editing, videography, and basically just being comfortable on camera and doing that as a woodworker. And hopefully I can make money doing it. We'll see where it goes. Uh, point three, this person entertains me. Yeah, you know what happened is I was on Instagram and I had like 2,000 followers and then I posted this uh, video of me reassembling my workbench that I had in my basement at my old house. And the video got like 600,000 views, which is very abnormal for me. Normally I do videos of like me making a serving board or a cutting board and they get like 2,000 to 30,000 views. It's very random. But this video got 600,000 views on Instagram. It got 500,000 views on TikTok. And I was like, well, what did I do differently in this video and it took me a sec to realize that when I make a video of a serving board that appeals to like this many people but when I make a video of me building a workbench um, that appeals to this many people I found that lots of people enjoyed the video and asked for plans for it so that's why my first real video will be me building my workbench because I need one but also me building my workbench because that's gonna be something that can help other people and I will offer free plans with that build um, hoping that, you know, the total addressable market is bigger than James building another serving board. In that video, there's this situation I'm in where I'm trying to put the bottom half of my workbench together and I'm kind of stuck and the bench is heavy. And I say something like, I'm strong, not smart. And a lot of people in the comments laughed at that. Like one guy that I play hockey with was like, you should make a t-shirt out of that. And it got a bunch of likes on the post or on his comment. And to tie this back into entertaining, I like to entertain. I like to come on here and make people laugh. That's just what I like to do. My friends and coworkers will tell you that I enjoy telling stories. That's what I'm gonna try to do. So basically to sum up, this channel is going to be a channel for beginner woodworkers. This is going to be a channel for anyone that wants to just sit back and watch a cool build video. And this channel is for people that just want to have a laugh. I also just want to document my story of Blue North. And if you want to see how this 34 year old dipshit goes from barely knowing what to do to maybe running a successful YouTube channel and furniture building company, you know, two to five to 10 years from now, follow along. So if you like my channel, if you want to give me an opportunity, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel or if you just want to uh, give me a like or drop a comment of encouragement or tell me to go myself, whatever. Um, yeah, this is me. I'm James. I'm 34. I like hockey. I like my two dogs. I love my wife. I love woodworking. See you next video.